Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey. This is Red Color. I hope you're well. I'm shuffling away. I was shuffling, shuffling before I even turned on the little button. It's easier without the glare. Okay. I can't see you now. <laughs> uh, this is going to be your reading. This is your reading for uh, November 21st, Saturday, a three card reading. Uh, thank you for all the new subscriptions. Thank you to Sheila Celtic Tarot. Um, please like, subscribe, share, comment. Uh, there's something else. I'll press the button for notifications. And if you're interested in a one on one, I'm having a special. Uh, it's a 30 minute reading for $30. And uh, you can um, you, know, you press the button on my website. And then uh, to schedule, you write me a little thing. I, I haven't figured out how to do that on the website, but I will. Okay, three card reading, let's get to it. One, two, three, interesting, okay. One, two, three. Okay, so we start with the High Priestess. The High Priestess is really, she's really a fascinating character. Um, it's the first female that shows up in the deck. And, um, you know, she has a lot in common <clears throat> excuse me, she has a lot in common with a lot of other cards in that she sits, she sits, it's very uh, distinguished here. She sits between the pillars of uh, the Temple of Solomon, right? So she really gets, the, especially in this card, the dark and the light. So she's about really understanding the duality. She's really, really about, she's Isis. This is Isis. And so she, if you know the whole story of Isis, so Isis was Osiris's uh, wife and sister, you know, that's how royals do it. Uh, <laughs> or did, or do. Now they do cousins, you know, it's a little bit less, <laughs> less incestuous. <laughs> Isis is really the, um, she's the goddess behind the God. She's the goddess that gives birth to the God, okay? She's all about secrets. So I, I, in certain ways, it depends on how you see the card <clears throat> in a specific reading. She's all about the secret. She's all about the mystery. So is her veil in front of her? Or does she lift her veil to give you a glimpse, to reveal the light, to reveal the secret, to reveal the hidden information? And then we have um, one of my favorite cards, which is both the uh, master and the apprentice, which actually can really embody, one can be both, right? To be a really good master is to continue to be the apprentice, and to be a really good apprentice is to act as if you're the master, right? Because it's really through, in my experience, uh, especially like some of the physical stuff, you know, like all this, I learn as I do. I'm continually learning as I do and I, I gather more and more information as I do. Um, and then you have this dude who's all about There's like an anticipatory, anticipatory energy about him. Um, it's, you know, it, he's like, he's the farmer, right? And he planted his trees or he planted his crop. And now part of him is wondering that I plant the right thing, that I planted, planted in the right place in the field. Is it gonna rain? Uh, did I give it enough vitamins? Did I, did I, uh, whatever farmers do, you know, did I introduce enough worms? Did I take out enough worms? Um, can I get the worms to help? <laughs> hey, 
here, here's a, you know, get to work. You know what I feel like? It feels like the secret's gonna be revealed. It feels like um, through feels like through the doing, some some revelation uh, is going to come through. Um, it's not armchair, you know. It's not armchair. It it's more um, through doing. You're going to be able to see and um, sort of plan what your next um, move is, right? And it, yeah, because we're coming up, you're gonna see what works and what doesn't. You're gonna see what works and what doesn't, but it's through the, you know, sometimes you're doing the dishes I think this is what I get. When I get running water, it's like, it really starts. So uh, showers and, and doing the dishes are like uh, this great place for me. <laughs> I should live near a waterfall. It, like as I'm doing something physical, I'm able, something can come through. You know, I used to swim a lot too. And um, it was, you know, once you get jogging, I think it's like that, or walking long distances. There's something to this repetitive behavior that kind of puts you in this sort of zone of uh, being able to like absorb information. Um, so I think that some new information might be revealed to you through in, in that sort of meditative something. It could be vacuuming, you know? I mean, you'd have to vacuum a long time, I think, to get into this. Uh, <laughs> vacuum is not my favorite thing. Um, and then you're going to be able to sort of see things in a um, in a clearer manner. It's like, well, where should I plant my seeds? What should I? Um, what should I work on? What should I plan, right? So that's my take. That's my take. So let's look at them all together. Isn't this exciting? Some people have the, the deck that's this with gold and they're beautiful, but they're even glarier, glarier. Should be a writer, okay? There's also a fruitfulness here, the pomegranates, fertility. It's through the work that you understand. It's through the work. That's what I'm really getting. It's through the work and through, or that monotonous, not monotonous, but uh, the same old thing. I don't know what the word is. Of course, it'll come to me after I turn off the video. Uh, repetitious. So that's my take. So enjoy it, enjoy it. Thank you uh, and I'll see you soon.